Hey everybody, I'm coming making this video message to tell you there is another you inside of you. And I know you all might ask yourself, what does that mean? All I'm saying to you is that there are other levels, deeper depths, and different dimensions inside of you. I don't care how your life looks. I don't care what you have came out of. I don't care about what's going on around you. There are so many people who deal with trauma. They deal with different types of trauma. You all have taken so many different losses. You have failed. You have walked away from some uh, situations and people and different things. And things have even been spoken over you in your life. Things have been said to you. Things have been said about you. Sometimes you will self-impose abuse meaning you will be negative about yourself. You will call yourself names. You will talk about your physical appearance. You will highlight all the wrong, bad, ugly, and negative things about you. And a lot of times, these things are simply coming from what other people said about you. And even if you do see flaws about yourself that you don't like or you don't enjoy, Sometimes because of you thinking so negatively about yourself or speaking so negatively about yourself, you feel or you believe that there is no other level to you. Let me ask you all some questions. Those of you who are dealing with depression, who are you outside of your depression? Those of you who are dealing with trauma, who are you what are you capable of doing in every good way outside of your trauma? Those of you who have come from abuse or you are currently involved in any type of abuse by the hands of a parent, a loved one, an ex or a current boyfriend or girlfriend, who are you and what are you truly capable of doing and offering the world outside? of that abuse who are you outside of what other people have spoken over you or said about you what else can you showcase and present that is lovely that is beautiful that is anointed that is touched by God outside of how you viewed yourself that is something I want you all to think about because a lot of people they become their trauma. They become their losses. They become their failures. They become what people say and think about them. They become what they think and say about themselves. But if they were to just stop, even for those of you who do this, if you were to just relax and settle yourself and sit down and really look deeper into yourself and start going to God, you would see that there is another you inside of you. Do not be deceived by the enemy. Do not be deceived by other people who are rude, who are unloving, who are negative, who are volatile, and they have given up on their life. They have lost what their purpose is. Don't be deceived by these types of people when they are just completely comfortable where they are. And they will try to talk you out of your vision, your goal, your dreams, your expectations from God, and your plans for your life. Make no mistake about it. In spite of what you've gone through and in spite of what you've experienced, there is still another you inside of you. And you begin to find out what deeper level is within you through God. I'm making this video message for every last person who has clicked this and you view it and you feel like or you believe that you have nothing else to offer besides what you currently are doing in your everyday life. A long time ago, you lost focus on who you were what you are called to do, or you have become very skilled 
and surgical with hiding who you are because you don't feel worthy enough to bring it to the forefront. God is the one that touches, delivers, sets free, and reveals the other part of you. God is the one that delivers, sets free, and removes the residue of the abuse, of the trauma, of that depression that you have been battling all your life. He tells us in his word that he will make beauty from your ashes. I don't care what it is that you have gone through. I want you all to know and understand that there is another you inside of you. Stop being comfortable with being the traumatized man or woman that you are. Stop being comfortable being the depressed man or woman you are. Stop being comfortable being the abused man or woman that you are. Sometimes the enemy can attack you so much and you go through so much that you rest in that, you get accustomed to that, and you believe that that's your final destination, and that's it. It's nothing else good that's gonna come to you. There's nothing else that you have to offer. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. And a lot of you all, you just live with that. You accept it and you live with it. You are not even trying to put in any type of fight or any type of energy to really uncover and reveal the other gifts and talents and skills that are deep within you. If any one of you who views this video message is confused about the other you that's inside of you, first, like I said, you go to God and you find out through spending time with God and praying what is it that he wants you to do and you find out what your ultimate purpose is the second thing i want you all to do stop running away from your depression from your trauma from the failures and from the disappointments one thing i can tell you is when it comes to depression when it comes to you coming out of abusive situations, or if you are currently in a abusive situation, you have to tackle and face this stuff. You have to confront it. Although it's uncomfortable, although it is um, embarrassing for you, and you don't like to touch, to touch it and talk about it, I want you all to really, really start facing these things that have held you back you have to face this at some point so the other you can come to the forefront did you all know that it breaks god's heart when you are a slugger and when you are lazy and comfortable with the gifts or the job that he has given you it offends god it breaks his heart you are supposed to be active and showcasing the gifts and the anointing that God has placed in your life. It may not be the season for you to come right out in the forefront, but you can still be operating in the gift. You don't always have to have a microphone. You don't always have to have a camera. You don't always have to be on stage. You don't always have to be on TV. You don't always have to make an announcement. But bit by bit, you offer your gift to the world. If you can pray, start praying for people. When people come to you with their situations, pray for them. You may be an intercessor and you don't even realize you're an intercessor, but you want to know why people always come to you with their problems, with their concerns, with their issues. Could it very well be that God has called you to be a prayer warrior or an intercessor? 
when people are battling different things within their family, you may be able to sit certain people down in their family and be a mediator. Some people are good at being a mediator or a peacemaker. God talks about peacemakers in his word. If you are a man or woman of peace, if you are a man or woman and you are the voice of reason, that is a gift. Some people can step on the scene in chaos and dysfunction and when they try to speak, people over talk them. People get aggressive with them. People dismiss them. But you, when you speak and you try to be, bring peace, people listen to you. They receive and take in what you are telling them and what you are saying to them. I'm just giving you guys a few examples. If your gift is you have an anointing to work with children or teenagers and youth. If your gift is to talk to different couples or you have a gift where you talk to broken women or you talk to broken men just know if you don't know anything else that there is another you inside of you your final destination is not what you came from how you were raised your trauma your depression your failures, and your disappointments. Every last one of us go through all of this. A lot of this stuff that we have been through, it is for a divine purpose. What's the purpose, you may ask? The purpose is for us to give back to the people that are now going through what God brought us from. Some people, they don't even know who you are outside of your depression, your trauma, your abuse, your failures, you feeling down and discouraged and the fact that you may have given up on yourself. Did you all know that? Did you all know that some people, they don't even know who you are outside of those negative aspects of you? And this is why sometimes when you are brought to the forefront and you have gifts and operation or the anointing of God is flowing through you, People are astonished. People are shocked. They never knew in a million years that you had that other level, a deeper depth, and more purpose in you. So before I end this video message, I just want to let you all know, again, there is another you inside of you believe it receive it go to God and pray about it and when you get the revelation of the other levels and other aspects of you and the deeper depths of who you are then you activate it don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. Stop feeling like if this fits you, stop feeling like you are not worthy or prepared or equipped to share your gift. Many men and women of God are not 100% prepared for the gift or gifts that they share. But bit by bit, you will find out that God will lead and guide you and grow you and cultivate your gifts more and more and more when you just take that leap of faith and tap into the other side of who you are. Just know that God is protecting you. Why would God not protect you? He's the one that gave you the anointing. He's the one that gave you the gift. He is the one that created you. So don't get caught up in what other people are saying or what they personally think about you. God does not care about what people say or what they think. You are his vessel. You are his son. You are his daughter. Act as such. It's time for you all to activate the other you inside of you. Stop hiding. 
Stop hiding. Stop dumbing yourself down. Stop dimming your light. Stop second guessing your gift. Stop. That's what this video message is. It's time out. This is the time and season for those of you who have only shown who you are behind your depressed state. It's time for you to come to the forefront. You cannot operate off your depression. You cannot keep capitalizing off your depression, off your abuse, off the things people have said about you. Time out for that. If people want to do that, leave them behind. Let them do it. You have a bigger purpose and another job to do. This is going to require you spending time with God, praying, and really receiving and believing this message. I'm telling you, I'm telling you all, there is another you inside of you. This video may not be for everybody. It may not resonate. But you better believe, and I'm not saying this to get you excited. I'm telling you all the truth. There is other dimensions, depths, and levels to you. It's time for you to come out from hiding. It's, tired, it's time, I'm sorry, for you to stop being embarrassed and ashamed. That's the video message. Well, guys... It's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have been offended by this video message and anything I said, it's okay. It's all right. I am not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.